Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Uh, this is a problem. Are you kidding me? Uh. Oh, shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go take on Steinbjorn the Bear, the third world boss, or mini boss. Um, so, yeah, in my inventory, I've got 16, I think, of my uh, stronger Rexes that we pulled back out of the fight that we did with Hati and Skull in the last episode. Um, so we're going to take those guys to Steinbjorn, and then I have, um, uh, continue, continue to, uh, make my Rexes stronger and stronger, and, um, these, this whole batch of mothers here, I'm going to pull out and put into the army, because I have yet another, uh, Rex, female Rexes with even better stats. So, the breeding's going pretty well, and, um, I'm pulling all of these... Quetz mothers out too because we have uh, uh, mutations on uh, on them, you know, to, to cycle through, and yeah, so that's going really well. Uh, likewise with the theories. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and head on over to um, Jotunheim, and the coordinates for the Steinbjorn Cave are like 7730, I think, something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where that is. In relation to you know northwest east south etc i think it's going to be probably south so we're going to go ahead and go south first and then we'll see how we do by the way i do have free curry i've got this um shadow steak saute it says ignore most weather i guess that'll help us with the cold i don't know i guess we'll find out when the time comes um and i've got the best fur armor on that i currently have uh in my uh, in my arsenal. So we have a total of 677 hypothermal insulation with uh, with this stuff here. So, okay. Um, I think we're ready to go. Yep. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I've got medical brews uh, here. We've got Lazarus chowder for healing, focal chili for speed, and uh, Freya curry for, to help us stay warm. Because, man, Steinborn, or not Steinborn, <laughs> that's the boss. Um, Jontenheim is very deadly. It's killed me before. It's, it's actually killed me before for the temperature because of the temperature. So, yeah, you don't want to mess around in that place, um, even with full armor for armor on. So, yeah, we got to be careful. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go realm transportation. We want to go to Jontenheim, and I'm just gonna go south, and then we'll see, you know, uh, where that puts us. I also have, just in case we need him for any particular reason, um, Andrew Circus version 2. So he's he's with us as well. And yeah, let's go take on this third world boss. I, t I have two sets of rune stones with me. In fact, I'm very lo I'm, I'm low on rune stones. And so probably the next thing we're going to do is go alpha hunting uh, to, to get those up. Because I've just been running, you know, Bela and now more recently uh, Skull and Hati. Uh, a lot okay so first thing I want to do is if we take this I think that just bumped that up to 733 um, all right now if we take this that bumps it up to 790 and then let's just take those two because because we can yeah, this place, uh, you don't want to mess around in this place. It, if it gets super cold, it'll kill you, <laughs> even with all this stuff, you know. Uh, okay, so let's see. This is south, and let me get my GPS on here, and we're looking for 7730. Yeah, that's what it is, 7730. And I know it's kind of down in a in a, a cave near some water, but not here. Okay, so I believe this is the place here. Um. So yeah, it's seventy-seven thirty-one, ish. And 
that's that's the place. Okay, so now what we have to do is come in here. I don't think there's any creatures in here. Actually, I guess I don't know that for 100% sure. So let's be careful. Uh, but we are going to have to dismount and um, crawl underneath the, uh, a small area here. Well, actually, do we have to dismount? Never mind. I guess we don't. Okay. And this is the arena. So I brought... Um, see, we're... All we're just already losing health. It's just so freaking cold here. Uh, here, let's uh, consume that. Okay, yeah, so that got us back up to 790. So that that does help. But even with that, we're still losing health. So this place is crazy. Let's take a, a medical brew. All right, yeah, so we can't we can't dilly dally here. So let's let's get our guys out first, and also I'll go put the stuff in here. Now, what I know about this boss is that he's very very tanky, like very tanky so but i still think you know our 15 rexes uh should be able to take him out i mean i could be wrong about that you know so we'll see uh so let me get these guys out and then we'll get the fight started okay i think we're ready to go here um so i'm just gonna jump on uh we'll just jump on soldier 16 since he's more or less in the center and uh get this party started okay here we go Oh shit. Uh this is a problem. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh Oh shit. <laughs> oh man, that was scary. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely tanky, man. That's uh that's kind of BS that they have him spawn right on top of you when you're at the terminal. What the hell, man? <laughs> wow. So it looks like he does some kind of a whirlwind um attack. There goes the tree. A rubble bear. Oh, okay, so he has ads too. <laughs> that freaked me out, man. Yeah, we're uh, we got him down about a little over half now. We are taking some damage. Nothing I'm concerned about, but I would have to say that this of, of the three mini bosses, this guy's the hardest. See, I can't even reach him now because he's just. There we go. And none of these Rexes have, um, they just have basic saddles on them too, you know. Um, and I don't have any UD or any Daedons for healing. So I didn't figure we needed them for the world bosses. But we definitely don't need them for the other two. And probably safe to say we're not going to need them for this guy either. It's just taking longer is all. He definitely isn't someone we will farm on a regular basis just because it's is takes a lot longer to kill him, but we'll farm him as much as we need his relics for the bigger bosses. And he's just about down. There we go. Soldier 5 killed him. Okay. So... My Rex lost about 60, or about, no, about 40% of its health. I don't know about the other ones. But uh, we did it. Very cool. Can we loot him directly? Nope. Okay, so we need to find Soldier, f uh, was it 10? I think, Soldier 10 or 5? 10. I don't remember now. <laughs> I know I've got to, I got a bad memory. 
Uh, this is five here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got ourselves... Ramshackle compound bow, of, uh, an ascendant flamethrower, a carquino saddle, thylacaleo saddle, mastercraft, pretty nice, and a oh, and a Yudi saddle. I, I I think I have a an ascendant blueprint for Yudi saddles though, but that's still pretty pretty good stuff. And uh, yeah, see his health is down a little over half. So these rexes can definitely handle this fight, but it is a. Uh, it's a lot more involved than, uh, you know, than the other ones, for sure. Yeah, your health's not so bad. Oh, I guess you do have an Ascendant saddle on. Um, okay. I guess I did, I made, I guess I made that. <laughs> I don't rem didn't remember that. You can tell, though, the guy that has the Ascendant saddle on, you can tell how much of a difference it actually makes. We need to do that. And, uh, yeah, I, the next time we start this fight, I'm going to have to kind of stand off to the side because what the hell, man? <laughs> it's like going, jeez. I'm going to leave these Rexes here, too. Um, it's just too much of a pain in the ass to have to re-cryo them and then cry, uncryo them and all that. So we're just going to leave them here because we have another you know, better batch coming up, and we're going to need the better batches for the main bosses anyways. Okay. But yeah, it doesn't look like any of these Rexes were close to death, so, you know, that's good, of course. I'm just making sure all of them, uh, you know, get their, their melee uh, levels up. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that takes care of uh, Steinbjorn, and um, it was that was a kind of a fun fight. It was definitely the most challenging fight we'd have so far. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, kind of get these guys, you know, lined up and situated for the next time we come over here, and then I think we're going to go alpha hunting uh, for the second part of this episode, uh, so we can build our runes back up. Um, <clears throat> either that, and or we might go down into the uh, Magmasaur Cave, and or we might uh, get ourselves a wyvern. I'm, I, I kind of want to get a wyvern. Uh, so, yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are basically ready to go here. Uh, the goal here is to fly around and look for alphas to kill. I have uh, a few UDs and a few Rexes um, just cryoed, and we'll pop them out of cryo when we find the alphas, so that way we can just uh, fly around quickly on the bat. I also have uh, a bunch of other things on me. Uh, including stuff to tame. I'd like to actually get a snowy owl um, for their healing ability primarily. Um, so we're on the lookout for that. We're always on the lookout for a Uteranus. We still haven't found one. And even a high level Daton too. Uh, we're probably going to want to get that. Um, so we're just kind of doing a bunch of different things and um, see what, uh, you know, seeing what we can find here. So let's fly around and see if we can find some alphas. Uh, also, I will, I will take a, that's pretty low, a uh, snowy owl. Um, I'll take a male megatherium too. I, I actually have a 150 female megatherium that I tamed off camera. Um, but she's just sitting in cryo right now. Uh, I'm not necessarily planning on, I think that was just 15, right? Yeah. Not necessarily planning on using Megatheriums or breeding them, uh, but my plan is to use Therizinos on for Broodmother. But if it turns out that she's, you know, that it's not going so well, uh, you know, then we might start raising Megatheriums for that. I, I think we'll be fine, um, especially on Gamma and probably Beta Alpha. We'll see. <laughs> um, the thing about the Therizinos is they they are just they're so strong offensively that. I'm not anticipating a problem, but you know we won't know until until we get out there and actually try it. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna keep flying around. There's a mega right there. Let's just take a look and see what it is. It's a 90 male. Nope. I'm not even gonna look at anything that isn't already a 150. And uh, yeah, so let's fly around and find some alphas to kill. Look at that. Uh, we're over these crystalline structures out in the sea here and uh, there are a bunch of 
Carquinos down there. So, uh, I, my understanding is that there's a cave down there that we gotta go to to get one of the artifacts. So, yeah, we'll have to contend with those when the time comes. Uh, had no luck on finding any alphas on Vardalin, so we're gonna, going over to um, the volcano area. Uh, we'll probably find some there, and then if we don't have any luck with that, we'll go to Vanaland. Uh, we can also use the Magmasaur Cave and the... Um, uh, well, yeah, and, well, and the Wyvern Trench to level some of these guys too, because you get they get pretty good XP for killing those creatures. Um, we can um, obviously use the bat uh, and go invisible to steal some eggs if we want to do that. Um, it's not going to be dark for too much longer, but the thing is, is Dracula can actually kill these wyverns pretty easily, uh, even in the daytime. Uh, we need to get our ghillie clothing on here, because it is warm. Okay. So, let's uh, turn off night vision. And turn on... Uh, you know what? It's... Wait a minute. Why can't we go invisible? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. That's really odd. It's still nighttime because it wouldn't let me turn this on if it wasn't. I don't know why it's not letting me go invisible. If we latch, does it? It should. Oh, I'm using... Never mind. I'm being stupid. I'm using the wrong command for that. Um, it's this command here. There we go. Now we're invisible. Okay. Now, we don't need night vision. Actually, though, does that help us spot eggs? Not that that's difficult to do, but... See, there's no eggs in that nest, I don't think. Oh, there is. Okay. So night vision doesn't really help with that. So let's just turn that off since we have light. So one question I have is, you know, we're going to have to hop off to steal this egg. No, don't latch. Um. So if we do that and then get back on... What is this? That's a level 100. Okay. Okay, so are they, do they still know where we are though since we de aggroed or? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Okay, so <laughs> going invisible to um, grab eggs is not all that useful if you ask me because once you grab it, they know where the hell you are. All right, here. Let's turn this back on. Okay, so that was a, a level 100, yeah. Uh, that's pretty low. I'm not interested. Let's just drop it. So, yeah, forget the invisibility. We'll just we'll just kill the, the drakes if they come after us. All right, let's try this one. You're, uh, yeah, you're at full health. Okay. That's a level 90. Okay, we'll grab them just so we can clear them out and hope that something better spawns. Uh, oh, that's an RG. I was going to say, there's a flyer down there. Okay, I guess the wyverns didn't realize we grabbed that egg. So I don't see any around. There is nothing in here. We've already hit that nest. Let's try this one. All right, so we got this guy. Get out of here. That's a level 25. Okay, that's... I'll also get rid of that one too. Oh, 
It looks like one of those eggs was already on its way out. That's the the cavern that you can get down in here in on foot. Okay, we don't have anything here. We do have a wyvern coming after us though. We'll just keep working our way towards the um the Magmasaur cave and then we'll go in once we get over there. 85. Nope. 55. That's a 90. That's a 90. We need to make sure and kill all the wyverns in here too um, because we want to make sure we have uh, so, you know, to give a higher, higher level ones an opportunity to spawn in. That's what I'm trying to say here. 25. Seriously? Alright, I think that's it. So, I'm going to do one last sweep of the canyon here, of the ravine, and um, kill any wyverns we come across unless they're high level. High level, I'm defining as anything over 150, 150 or over. 150s are normal max level, but wyverns can get a little higher than that. Okay, there's one. What level are you, man? You're, yeah, you're low level, 20. It's, uh... 155. Okay. I'd like to leave, let her live. We can get away from her. Did she aggro on me? Yeah, she did. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can get away from her up in this cave here. Okay. I think we managed to get away from her. get these initial insects out of the way and then we'll launch a couple dinos. Okay, let's turn night vision off. Now, the the thing about this cave is, you know, there's lava and stuff in it, so we don't want to bring out a bunch of dinos. In fact, we might even just do, let's do two at a time. Um, and we'll, uh, we got, let's see, yeah, we got three Rexes on us, so let's do the Rexes first. Actually, you know what, no, I'm just going to do one at a time. Uh, because it's just really di tricky to maneuver in here with the lava and stuff. But the cool thing is, you know, you get lots of levels uh, for killing the the magmasaurs. Let's keep that blood with us for now. All right. So right now, uh, you've got your all your health, and uh, we want to get your melee damage up to at least two thousand. I just saw a wyvern out there. And there are. In fact, that might be one right there. Pretty sure that it is. There's uh, rock elementals in here. And they take a little while to kill, but they give a shit ton of XP. And there might... Yeah, see, there's a... We have a rune left, too. All right, here's what we're going to do, then. Let's come up here... Let's get the other two Rexes out. The 
these Rexes were previously our breeder mothers and or fathers. Okay, you're at 14. You're at just over a thousand and you're at 15. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's take the lowest damage one and we'll go get that rune on it. And then we'll take that rock element the one that's stuck in the wall there. This is a good place to fight him because there's no lob and stuff around. You guys follow. Uh, what are your distance? It's probably medium. Uh, behavior. Yeah, let's make it high. So you're not right up in my business. Okay, you guys attack my target. All right, let's pull this guy out. Uh-oh. Please tell me he can come out of the stone. Uh, that's a problem. Shit. Can we even get to him? Alright, well, shit. So much for that idea. Alright, well, let's just leave him alone and see if we can... There's going to be more in here. Uh, we just have to be really careful that our... Dinos don't fall off into the lava. Now he's stuck. Okay, okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, you guys stay passive. Don't fight anything yet, because we gotta get you through the the lava here. This cave is really fun. I I've been down here once off camera. I actually recorded a lot of that footage too, but I, I, I told you guys this in the last episode, you didn't see it, that I said, well, screw it, I'm not going to show me the recording, let's just come down here, so that's what we're doing. Don't jump off the lava. I want to take on a rock elemental while we still have the, the explore note buff, or rune buff. Gotta find another one. Oh, out of stamina. See, we already got seven points. Look at that. Wait for his stamina to get back, and then we'll go see if we can find another one. egg right there. That's a 145. Um, is that egg from one that I dropped before? Oh shit. I got scorpion. Level two nine no, it's a level twenty. Yeah, you know what? I think I must have dropped that. I'm gonna pick it up and get it out of here. Shit. Come on, you stupid. Let's go after this Magnosaur. There's a rock elemental up there. Okay. Alright. Attack target. 
Don't get stuck in the wall this time, please, Rock Elemental. Here we go. Right now we've got 17 points just from killing the Magnosaur, so we'll see how much we end up after this guy dies. In fact, actually here, yeah, hold on. Let's crank that up right now. He didn't get the final kill. <laughs> well, that's all right. Um, I mean, I should have thought about that, but I didn't. But that means one of these guys got a bunch of points, though. You just got one. So it's probably you. Only three? Really? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe that wasn't worth the effort. Okay, well, let's go... Kill some more Magmasaurs then. Don't go in the lava. Stupid fuck. Alright, we gotta go get him. See, that's why I don't like to have a bunch of extra dinos in here, because it. Oh boy, he's in trouble actually. Maybe not the best situation. Well, he survived. Soldier 2, are you in the lava? He looks like he is, but I don't hear him taking damage. Okay, let's come over here. Well, we got nine more levels. <laughs> yeah, up to 2,600. I'd say he's, he's pretty leveled at this point. Um, kill that bat. We could check this Magmasaur egg over here. Uh, it's got a bat guard in it, though. Let's see if we can pull these bats over here just so we can deal with them. Let's grab, let's see what this egg is. It's, um, level 145. Okay, we'll take it. I'm not exactly sure how we, um, what we do with these. Got pretty good health, though. <clears throat> so I'll have to research that, because it probably not as simple as, oh, we got a Magmasaur shooting at us. Everybody come through here really quick. There's another nest over, or can be, yeah, there is another nest over here. It looks like everybody just zeroed in on the on our wrecks when it fell in because there's no more critters down here. Oh, we 
We've got a Magnosaur shooting at us from up above. Yeah, he's up there. Look at him lobbing. He can't hit us from here, though. Okay, let's check this. Oh, shit. Let's check this egg. That's only a 25. Okay, let's grab it just so we... Oh, they got a hit off on us. Just so we can get it out of here. That was the 145 that that egg came from. Okay, I am aware that we are walking in fire. <laughs> That's not the best case scenario. Actually, you know what we should do? Uh, we should put this guy away. And there, I, I mean, I know all this stuff would be useful in the grinder, but we just don't have room for it. And I got lots of sulfur. Um, so yeah, let's drop all this. Uh, are we safe to get off here for a second? Hopefully. Okay, I'm going to put you away. I'm getting attacked by something. Oh, shit. Alright. They should have it covered. I accidentally threw this guy back out again. Get over here. Over here, guys. Don't stand in the lava. Don't be stupid. Come on, man. I'm, like, totally stuck in this. Okay. He's out of the lava. about got you all the way up. Uh, we don't need any of this shit. Uh, but his health's really low. Let's see, check the health on the, the Rex here. Or the other Rex, I should say. What's your health look like? Yeah, you're a bit healthier. Got you over 2,000, so that's good. Um, yep, once again, let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay, we're going to put Soldier 1 away just because of the fact that his health is so low. And we'll have to... Did you make it to 2,000? You didn't. Okay, so we'll have to take you out again later after you heal up. That's why I want to mostly get a Snow Owl, too. A Snowy Owl. Uh, so that they can get healed up. Alright, you are about half health and you did make it to 2,000. So I think we're going to put you away too. Now what I could do is I could load up on these black pearls and then just teleport out of here, but like I said, I already have like probably four over 400 black pearls back at the base, so we don't really need them. I can get element stuff from this, but again, I don't want to weigh myself down because I have so much, you know, much other stuff in my inventory right now. Okay, so let's pull out a theory. And you are, oh yeah, you, you need a lot of leveling. Okay. So... All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're not we're not going to get to alpha hunting today. Um, so I'm just going to get the rest of these theory the theories that I have leveled up, and then um, you know so they're ready to go. And then you know coming up will be the uh, the the brood mother fight. We, we'll take on the gamma brood mother. Um, and I might even, we'll probably will do that in the next episode. And we also need to do, you know, like I said, need to do some more alpha hunting. Get out of the lava. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. See ya.